everybody and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video we are going to go over the collar portion of your Marley Bird Granny Square Cocoon Cardigan which is the crochet along for 2017. By this point in the crochet along you have learned how to do motifs, learn how to do the join as you go method for those motifs, learn how to do a really cool ribbing effect, how to do join as you go with that ribbing, and you learned how to do a little bit of seaming. This time we are moving on to the collar, which conveniently enough, you actually already know how to do. You just need to learn where you need to put it on the body of your piece and you need to understand the function of that collar. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to start off by downloading the pattern which is available over on marleybird.com. As always I put the link to it right down there in the video description box below and while you're down there smash that like button as my kids say. Once you have the pattern let's take a look at the schematic that's attached to this portion of the pattern. Right down here you can see that this is a schematic that is brand new to you. It is an actual representation of your piece as it stands right now. We did the cuffs last week, so that's where those were. And then this is where we did our seaming. These dotted lines represent your motifs as they're folded. If you can tell right here there is a green outline around a portion of the center piece of this uh, cocoon cardigan. And that green outline is where I want you to add your collar. If you remember in video one, I showed you a piece that I tried on and it is a cocoon cardigan that I had knit for a creative book class that I did. And I wanted to show you how that looked on me as a size 2X, 3X woman. And you'll remember that I mentioned that I did not add the collar all the way down around the bottom of that cocoon cardigan that I tried on. And I mentioned that I did not add it to the cocoon cardigan you are making. I chose not to add it around that bottom portion of the back and that's the way this schematic is representing um, the collar is just like that. But that does not mean you cannot put a collar down around the entire body of the piece of your cocoon cardigan. You absolutely could do that. You just have to plan accordingly with the amount of yarn because it will require more yarn. Okay, so that's the first thing because that's, that's going to be one of the number one questions you guys ask me is do I have to eliminate this little section right here? Okay, because this section right here where you can see the green is not completely going across. That is the back bit of your cardigan. So yes, the collar comes all the way around and it comes around ever so slightly around into the back portion of the cardigan because when you put the cardigan on it will lay the collar appropriately in the right place. So that's where you want it to be. So what you need to do is just like in the cuffs when you chained a certain amount of stitches and when you worked your first row back you joined to the body of your piece you're going to do that exact same thing for the collar starting off down here or down here wherever you want to start and then going all the way around the um, body of your piece with the exception of this portion right here if you want to make it like the example. Anyways for the collar of the piece one once you have this schematic and you know where to start for the collar of your piece, you have all the skills you need to do that. Pretty easy, right? So let's take a look at the sample I had made done in the pink colorway. And I'm going to pull it over. And remember, my camera is zoomed in really close, so it might be a little bit difficult to see. But one thing that's convenient here is that we also did a nice flat shot of the piece that I will also add to the blog. Yeah, this is not going to show. All right, so this is what we'll do. I'm going to hold it up. So as I hold this up, you can see that the portion that is closest to you, so this portion here, see how there's no collar on it? That portion there represents that 28 inches that we left open. And you can see the collar is around that other portion. So that collar is around the section that would be represented as green in that schematic. And on this piece, as it was joined, you can see that this collar is 10 inches. I'm going to call it wide because this, I guess, the width of your collar. So from the edge of your body to towards you know towards it that's the width and it's about 10 inches that's why you have to chain 51 chains to get 50 stitches which will give you 10 inches if you're getting gauge the reason i'm pointing that out is because if you feel like 
you want your collar a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more substantial. This is the time to do that. There is no rule saying that your collar has to be 10 inches wide or in, or, or let's see, this tries one more time. There is no rule saying that your collar has to be 10 inches wide. You can absolutely make it larger. And you'll notice on this picture I'm going to put up on screen, it's a picture of me wearing the other cardigan. Um, so that way you can kind of see where the actual cardigan hits as in reference to the body of the cardigan and the collar and then how much I was able to fold it back. Okay, can you see how that looks? Now, obviously I know that is not the cardigan you're making and the reason I keep going back to that one is one, it's a bigger size and you get to see it on like a big person. But two, I actually use the exact same measurements that we're working with on that project. So as far as the fabric itself, it's the same dimension. So you kind of get a good idea of how that fit is going to work. Okay, so I wanna say that um, out loud, so that way you kind of get an idea of how this works out. So you'll notice um, back here on this piece, I have the collar um, really pulled in and then just doubled back. So it is in half, doubled back. And then you can see that the, you know it doesn't give you a lot of arm room but it's really, it's a beautiful look. So if I undid this, hopefully my, I was gonna say hopefully that doesn't fall, but it did. If I undo this and I wanted to even have these open up a little bit more, I could have these open up quite a bit and it could have a lot of extra room. So there's a lot of options here for you with the collar. Don't be afraid to experiment. Um, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, just do a couple more chains. Like you can do as many as you want, um, or you can do as few as you want. Uh, personally, I wouldn't do fewer than 10 inches. I think that's a good, it's a good number for the size of fabric that you have. Um, I, I kind of like 12 and 15 inches too. I think that's really nice, but I I like kind of a more dramatic cowl, or not cowled, more dramatic collar sort of look. So I think that if I were making one for me, I would make it probably 15 inches, but you know, that's me, that's my style. That's not how everybody is. So I went conservative and went the 10 inches, and I think that that is a good starting point if you want to follow along with that. And that's exactly what this one is 10 inches and this one here is also 10 inches and you can see it on the models, you know, how it fits them and uh, you can wear it, as I mentioned, it doesn't have to be tied up like that. You can have it straight, you know, so where maybe it just is pinned a little bit and it's open like that. You can see there's a lot more wiggle room here. It, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of space here. Um, I did mention in the Facebook group that this is a very on-trend project. There is a lot of cocoon cardigans on the market right now, both for knitting and crocheters to make and in the uh, ready-to-wear market. There's a lot of these. So you are going to be the envy of your friends. This thing is so awesome. I'm loving all of the projects you guys are posting and your excitement as we're coming to the end. Uh, I know this is a lot of ribbing. I know it is, but if you want to section it out, you know, take the whole week and just pin out five different sections so that you have five sections and do one section a night and you'll, you'll be done in no time. Once that piece is done, literally your cardigan is complete, okay? Um, just like when we did the motifs and we had so many motifs to do and I gave you extra time like we did the extra week, that's kind of like what I did with this particular um, portion of the crochet along. This collar portion is going to take you a little bit of time because one it's a lot of stitches i mean just even if you stick with the 50 stitches it's a lot of stitches back and forth and it's a lot of area to fill in so i want to make sure you have extra time to do that that's why that the um crochet along is six weeks even though technically once you finish week five you're you're done but next week i will bring out a video or i will put out a video showing you some variations of what you could do with this piece so maybe you want to use a different yarn and use a different gauge and maybe you want to um, plan for sleeves you know how would you kind of do things like that and so the reason for me doing that is so that way i am helping you grow as a crocheter and learn how 
every single pattern you make allows you to become that much more informed and that much better of a crocheter to make alterations and make future patterns. So you can take a pattern like this, make some simple alterations and have a completely different design and just be equally as happy. So I'm excited to do the week six video because it's, I mean, that's right up my alley. I'm a designer at heart and that's like, that's where, that's where my brain lives. That's what I love to do. That's why I spend so much time on these videos trying to give you options. I hate it when I have to tell you to do things just a specific way. I like being able to tell you, look, you can do it so many different ways because I really want you to be happy with the piece you're making. So having said that, make sure you get this schematic. Okay, it's available on um, the, vid uh, the video five portion over on the blog. Once you have that, you know exactly where you're putting the collar. Remember to add your collar to the body of your fabric on the wrong side if you're following the pattern, on the right side if you changed it up, whatever you decide to do. It doesn't matter, just be consistent with it and have fun with it, you guys. I'm so, I'm so excited you guys are hanging in with me with this. I cannot wait to see your finished pieces. Um, it's almost time. I don't know about you, but it's getting quite chilly here in Colorado and I, I am wearing my cardigans a little bit more and now you're gonna have one that you can wear as well. All right, that's it for me, you guys. Week five is uh, your homework. Do your collar. Give us a shout out over on the Facebook group. If you wanna join in over on the Marley Bird Facebook page to kind of see some um, deals and things that are happening over in the Marley Bird world, I would love for you to join me over there. Other than that, I really hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with video six where I get to do a little more designing sort of talk with you. Okay. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns, and this is the Marley Bird Granny Square Crochet Cardigan. Thanks, guys. Learn on YouTube with Marley Bird. Visit youtube.com forward slash Marley Bird.